this is the next one we're going to be doing. Those little feet underneath. Little tennis balls. Start doing that cup. I'll be back. Well, the screen went bluey again, but it seems to still be on track with the print. Last time my screen screwed up, we had this issue. That's when we were going too tall, and for whatever reason, it got lost. Here we seem to be still on track. Doing pretty good. Hopefully no issues. Obviously we won't know anything until we get further along. So this is definitely going to be one of those builds as much as it uses and the time that it takes. I won't give it one try. If it messes up, I, I won't try again. So I can already see where it's shifted over a millimeter down there. I don't know why it did that. Huh. Well, we'll let it continue and see what happens. Well, we're further in. It's almost got the outer edges done and started to do the little foot for the cup, if you will, for the tennis ball to fit into. So far, so good. Took an hour and 20 minutes to get this far. And it looks like, for some reason, the whole thing... See it right there. Looks like it's shifted away from you about one millimeter. See over here where it looks like it's overhanging about a little bit over here. So I don't know what happened, but it kicked itself over. Nothing's touched it, nothing's moved. And I mean, that little bit it's annoying, but it's actually not an issue. I just don't know why it did it. We'll get further on into that cup and uh, we'll be back. Still going. See, we're starting to come up here to the brim where that tennis ball would fit into that cup. And this is now officially the tallest piece I've ever made. <laughs> and other than the screen, and it's shifting way down here at the bottom, it shifted over about a millimeter. Other than that, no issues with it. Inside that cup is, you know, perfectly smooth. No ripples, no issues, nothing that I can see. We're still only about, I think it's about 65%. I can't go by this, but that actually makes a cup or, or a, a bowl like, I guess if you would. So about 65, maybe 70%. So that I let you see where we're at at this point. And then when we get done, we'll be back. And we're done. And it's already cool. Oh, no, I actually take it back. Still warm right there. Pretty solid. I should sit there for a minute. So 
still doing pretty good. Just got the cup going. Side walls. You can see it's off like it's it moved over like a millimeter for some reason. See that? This side it moved away from you. There you go. Over here it moved towards you. No known reason. But yeah, seems to be doing really good. The board's still messed up, as it always does. It's only good for about an hour. One other thing I've noticed is this little black filings over here. Belt rubbing on those uh, bolts for the limit switch. They all pretty much have it. So, yeah, you know, all those bolts are going to have to be filed down. See on there any better? They're definitely rubbing on there. I think if they were flat instead of socket heads, would be fine. So, I'm going to get those replaced with some. Like Phillip heads, flat heads. So. It's starting to do the inlays there. Just got to do the honeycomb there to start with. Just now covering that part up, filling it in. Three hours and ten minutes. <laughs> We're getting there. We got one done. Be a food dish, I suppose. It's actually very smooth. You can probably see the glass, but in the light, it's like glass. Pretty, pretty good. There's this little rough spot right here at the top. I don't know what happened there. I mean, close enough. I don't know why it did that, but other than that, still got my tape on the bottom. I haven't cleaned anything yet. I got one more of these to make, then I'll have all three. And then we get to take everything out to the sander. As you can see, I got lights of little black stuff out here that I wasn't realizing what it was before I had this cover on. It's all coming from that, draining on the belt. So I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to be switching those socket heads out and putting some flat ones in. Because that's definitely wearing the teeth on my belt. We're at almost five hours in my stream. It's not messed up. It's never gone four hours and 58 minutes without messing up. As you can see, we're at 78%. So we're pretty close. It look like this one is done. See that low end in the front over there? It matches up with this. We just need to match up to that. <laughs> another 20% to go. And that is really chewing up that belt now that I'm aware of it. That is going to be the very next thing we fix on all of those. As soon as this finishes printing, I'm going to change out all those little socket heads and put flat head screws in in their place. But yeah, definitely an issue. Well, I just want to let you see where we are. We're up to basically 80%, five hours of a, uh, supposed to be a nine hour print, but I got it kicked up. Uh, we're at 116%. So I should probably cut it down to about seven hours. You probably still get about two hours 
Holy cow, we still got about two hours to go. And then, that's only two. I need three. Yeah. Now I know why this stuff is expensive. It's not that it's difficult to build or that it costs a lot to build it. It's just the time it takes to build it. I saw a set of these, all three of them on eBay for $110. This coil cost 20 bucks. I built everything yellow out of here. Everything yellow came off this reel. That reel was 20 bucks. I got one more of these to go. Three of these sell on eBay, a set. That's just ridiculous. I could have CNC'd handcrafted aluminum ones for that price. And I'm really hoping, I'm going to be real close to getting a third one out of here. These take 33 meters. 33 meters of filament. I mean, they're solid. I mean, they hold the whole thing up. So, we'll be back in 21%. Show for you. Watching a TiVo Delta for the first time print. And yeah, it's not sticking. His bed height's just a little bit too high. Okay, but anyway, some sort of, uh, back to our inner cubic that is working. We're up to 98%. Five hours and 42 minutes in. And you still see it's got a little flat spot there that it's working on. That little flat spot is supposed to be rounded like this one. <laughs> so we're close. And it was supposed to be nine hours. And we did it in five and a half, 545, let's say. And we still have one more of these things to do. get done, we can lift the whole thing up, and we can start doing all the stuff uh, for the power supply and the heated bed. Five hours, 44 minutes, like right there. This is just about done. Oh, there it goes. And I did see one little string come off. This one did a whole lot better. That's nice and smooth across there. This one, hopefully you can see the light. It's a little rough right there. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's going to be underneath. This one's nice and smooth. And... Yeah, he's pretty stuck. So I'll get that pried off and get that third one printed. Wow, there you go. 
And then once we get all three of them, we'll get them underneath. Um, actually, before we print that third one, I'm going to address the socket caps. You can even see there how it's nice and silver. Or rub the paint off the bolt. So yeah, we're going to fix that. Get this peeled off. Get ready for the next one. Burn the next one. 